Hi guys. I rigged up this timer in one of my rubber band powered car episodes so that I could compare the speeds of the different cars going up and down my kitchen. I had to intercept the button at the top of the timer here and feed it through a relay there which is operated by a transistor that's triggered by an LDR, light dependent resistor and as you can probably see there, there's the laser spot just missing it at the moment. If I just line it up. Okay, hopefully that's pointed in the right place. And switch the circuit on. If I interrupt the laser, that should trigger the timer. There we go, away it goes. And hopefully the car gets to the other end of the run and triggers it again, all by mirrors. Like that. Now, the circuit works, in essence, but there is a problem. If it's an odd-shaped car, with some gaps in it, as it goes through the um, laser beam, sometimes it triggers it more than once, and we get a false reading. If I just reset this to zero. So, Here's an example of my odd shaped car going to go through. It's actually a piece of cardboard with a gap in it. So if I just flash that through, and you see the car's gone through, but it's triggered it twice. So it's actually started it and stopped it in the process of going through the start gate. And when it goes through again, Instead of stopping it at the far end, it's actually started it again. So there's a problem. And what I said I was going to do, which I haven't ever got round to, was build a little bit of a delay timer into here. Stick one of those 555 chips in there and build a little delay so that it gives the car enough time to trigger it, pass all the way through, and then re-trigger it at the far end of the run. So what I'm going to do tonight is put a 555 chip in there and a capacitor and a resistor and a variable resistor or rheostat so that we can actually set the timing. Okay, I've got my 555 timer inserted. I'll do some close-ups so you can actually see it and I'll draw up the diagram. And I've turned it around so you can see where the laser pointer is. So we'll do a demonstration. Originally, breaking the beam starts it, and breaking the beam again stops it. But we had a problem where if we had a odd-shaped car, something like this with a gap in it, so front wheel and back wheel, you might get it triggered twice, so you get a false reading. If I just set that back to zero, what we now have is a nice single trigger. In fact, if I use my fingers, so instead of getting four separate triggers. We've now just got a single trigger. I adjusted the timer using a variable resistor, but then I measured what the resistance was that I wanted, and I've changed it just to a single 10k resistor. And that gives me the right delay. So that's my rubber band powered car timer, or speed trap. I guess what I could now do is put that into a proper PCB so that it's a bit more robust. But it certainly works now, so I'm quite pleased with that. This probably isn't a good idea, but I'll just point out the components. You're better off looking at the circuit diagram. But uh, we'll start off, we've got a 9 volt battery over here. Got a little 12 volt relay. 
just behind the relay. You can't see it, but there's actually a diode across the coil of the relay to protect the circuitry. Uh, we got 2N222 transistor, another 2N222 transistor, LED, and what have we got resistor wise? 100K, brown, black, black, and orange for three zeros after it. So 100K. That one's brown, black, black, brown, so that's one zero after it, so it's a 1K. That one's brown, black, black, orange, so that's a 100K again. And that one's brown, black, black, red, so that's a 10K. And down there we've got the 555 timer, and over here we've got a 47 microfarad capacitor. And over there is the LDR sealed in hot glue and blue tack pointing out towards the laser pen. And right at the front, which you can't see because it's out of shot now, is that um, stopwatch that I modified to intercept the start stop button, which is now operated by the relay. But I'll, I'll draw up the circuit diagram, or, yeah, and I'll also tell you where I got it from. So, have a look at the video description for the links.